Okay, this is a cheese game I just played. Here's my Terran opponent up here. I start over here at my base. Just I'm doing something a little bit different. Not doing the normal thing against Terran, where as a Zerg you normally take your base here, then you make a gas and a, a spawning pool and just make some Zerglings for early defense and then maybe try to expand from there, make some queens. Just uh, really play a macro game to play a longer game. Instead, I send a drone out really early to go take this base, which would normally be my opponent's third base or maybe their fourth base, depending on exactly how they expand. And I'm going to build units from this to then go over here and uh, damage this expansion if I can, also go up into the main and win that way. My opponent looks like they're doing a pretty normal opening. They're getting that gas pretty early, which means they're probably going to be making a Reaper. I do screw this up a little bit because I have sort of been doing I did this one off the cuff I don't have like an exact plan build order which is very helpful if you're doing a cheese because you can map out how things work this is just an experimental one to see how things go I decided to do it just I don't know when you load up a game sometimes you just do a different plan it's just a way to keep players from being super greedy and uh, getting away with making all the workers and nothing to defend at home which does happen it quite frequently because a lot of cheeses actually aren't good enough to uh, win the game. So I take this base over here. My intent is that I'm going to use it to make some roaches and some ravagers. I actually screwed this up on the way by. I, my drone was seen by my opponent's scouting worker. He didn't follow it though, so I think I'm still in the clear. I send a drone down here to look like I'm trying to take an expansion. I'm just bad at it, but if... Your opponent has played enough games, they will know, hey, wait, there should already be a base here. So this should be sending giant warning bells on my opponent's head. I said, okay, well, he was sending out an SCV scout, so that must mean there's no Reaper. I can just go home with this drone. I don't have to worry about my opponent further scouting me. I try to save my Overlord here so I don't lose the supply it's providing. My opponent here has gone for just a barracks. He's making a reactor to let him make more units. He's made a factory that it looks like is not building anything yet. So maybe it's just to get the starport. Yep. So you have to get the barracks before you can get a starport. Canceled it. I'm not sure what caused that. Made an armory over here instead. I don't know what that's about. So my opponent that you see is going to go for an expansion down here. I've already got my base up here. I think I squeeze out a single drone just because I don't actually have my roach warren ready yet. Which is what I intend to do is to make roaches and then the morph off them the ravager to siege up the ramp here and then if that works the ramp here and if that works I've probably won the game already. I thought my opponent scanned my base and actually saw yeah okay there it is. Sees the Roach Warren. This is a pretty early Roach Warren but since I'm a league lower than the player I'm playing against maybe he just thinks oh he's playing too safe in case of cheese or something like that. I think my opponent still thinks I have this base because I killed the worker he had there, so assumes that I have uh, actually got this base. I did get the Zergling speed upgrade pretty late. My opponent did see it researching, so it actually looks normal though. The Roach Warren is early. I do already have some Roaches. I could time this out better to not be supply blocked right now so that I could actually make them into Ravagers right away and then head over to uh, this base. So my opponent knows something is up by the bunker, I would guess. Although it's not un it's not totally uncommon to see them have a bunker at the front of the base here with a wall. So I see my opponent's made some Hellions. I didn't actually see this in the game. They've apparently gone out on the map. So in a second, I morph in. There we go. I morphed in the Ravagers, send in some Zerglings. This is really close to walk, so it reinforces easily. I try to make all the roaches the slower units here, and then the zerglings there, the really fast speed units over here. So I'm sending them out. My opponent now just sees that I don't have this space walking up with the hellions, but my zerglings popped out, and on their way across the map, they're going to get the hellions for me anyway. So over here, I've cleaned up the area down there, and I managed to break this wall with my corrosive biles from the ravagers. That's that skill shot you keep seeing going uh, down. And at this point, 
I'm on top of the production. I killed this uh, tech lab because that's the add-on that lets the factory make tanks, and tanks are one of the things that can really uh, stop this build. I did get my opponent's first tank before it got sieged up. So my opponent pulls all the workers off the line. I end up dealing with them. At this point, my opponent is just, there's no way to recover. If there was a tech lab on this starport, maybe, but I don't know that that's really a thing. So I think my opponent had been planning, because of this armory, to make those hellions he sent across the map into hellbats and try to roast some of my workers, but my attack got there first. 